Happy Friday, Flyers, and welcome to the Rundown for April 30th, 2021. You're watching the Seniors' Final Rundown, hosted by Media Arts 2. This rundown is full of segments dedicated to the senior class. Let's take a look. After spending four years of your life in one high school, there's a lot that you learn to love. Here are some seniors on what they'll miss most about Loyola. What I'm going to miss most about Loyola is definitely seeing everybody every day and Coach Max crazy so. I'm going to miss all my friends. I'm going to miss playing baseball and doing fun things with my friends. I'm going to miss buying a Pop-Tart from Mr. Marshall every morning. I'm going to miss the track meets I had every day before school at 744 just to get here on time. I'm going to miss seeing Mr. Pachekas at lunch every day. <laughs> yeah, he was a real hoot. Loyola's definitely given us tons of things to miss. For the final time, this has been Lauren Lindsay. Good or bad, memories have been made here at Loyola. Let's hear about some of our seniors' not so great moments. Lee's favorite memory at Loyola was probably not getting kicked the game winning field goal against St. Louis Catholic. My least favorite memory about Loyola would be doing IXLs for math. My least favorite memory of Loyola was sophomore year in English class when Nathan threw up. My least favorite memory is when we went out to cheer for halftime and we did our dance and our stunts fell in front of the entire football game. <laughs> My least favorite thing or experience from this school would be some people that have just not made my um, experience that fun, especially this year. My least favorite memory is Flies and Buyers. I hope the good memories outweigh the bad. This has been Emmy Sang. Everybody has their good and bad days on camera, especially media arts too. Let's take a look at some of the bloopers from the past two years. Three, two, one. In the wake of Hurricane Laura. No. Okay, just go again. Okay, in the wake. Of, okay. No. Hold on. Three. Hold. On. Wait. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Weight Watch. <laughs> of all faith backgrounds join as student body at weekly mass at the Cathedral of St. John Berkman's, just footsteps away from campus. Of the 35 student organizations at the event... Excellence, faith in action and student involvement. Okay. Say something, Goose. What's up? There is a new tradition this year started by senior English teacher Annabeth Clark. The seniors were requi required. Required. Oh, okay. Okay. So. <laughs> that was so. Well, that's perfect because starting Monday, you're entered into a raffle for pre. No, I said pre. Hopefully, the good days outweigh the bad. For the last time, this has been Julia Smith. Hi, everyone. I'm Wes Bartlett. Loyola's teachers are always ready and willing to go above and beyond for their students. Here's a few seniors to talk about the teachers that have impacted them the most at their time here at Loyola. I'm thankful to Coach LeBlanc, Coach Green, Miss Johnson, especially because they've all helped me graduate and they've showed me forgiveness and just to keep coming to school and then I'm especially thank you to coach Mac for being the goofiest teacher ever and also just like a fun person to be around. I'd say Miss Bissell because she made math fun and it's usually not fun. I've had many great teachers here at Loyola but shout out Miss Fox, Coach Max and Coach Langeno. Miss Fox taught me more than any teacher ever has and less than a year. Coach Langeno has always been there for me. He's a great pal and Coach Max is just the coolest dude on the planet. Thank you teachers and faculty for always treating us like family. This has been Wes Barlow. There is no doubt that this senior class has had so many athletic accomplishments. Let's take a look back on some of them. In one heck of a year for Flyer Athletics, there is no doubt that some of our Loyola seniors have finished off their Flyer careers with a bank. During the football season, Sam Swalk became the all-time leader in quarterback sacks for the school. His teammate, 
Avon Smith, dazzled everyone with his numbers as a kicker, as he set the school record for most field goals with 10 field goals in a season. On the tee, Loyola golf standout Burke Alford shot lights out in his final year, propelling him to an opportunity to play collegiate golf at UL Lafayette. On the diamond, senior pitcher John Shardar earned ace status, going 9-2 as a starter and pitching a 1.24 ERA, and will head off to play at Baton Rouge Community College next year. Tennis star Stafford Yerger is currently the number one seed at the state tournament and dominated in the regionals last week. In soccer, Hope and Faith Davis made All-State on the girls' team, and Caleb Rosenblath, Bruno Palmieri, and August Drummond made All-State on the boys' team. Jonathan English finished third in the 500 freestyle and fourth in the 200 freestyle at the state swim meet, and in bowling, the Flyers made it all the way to the regional tournament. But more importantly, they overcame tragedy and played in memory of their senior teammate Aubrey Bells and went on to win district. We wish all of our Flyer athletes good luck in the future. This has been John Michael Guzan. Our past four years here at Loyola, the senior class has made tons of memories. I went around school and asked our teachers what's their most favorite memory about our senior class. So my favorite memory about the senior class would probably be in their freshman year when I was teaching Algebra 1. Uh, I warned Cody multiple times to get off his iPad and he wouldn't get off because he was playing Fortnite. And so he's like, just please let me finish this game, let me finish this game. And so, uh, you know, I told him if he won, he wouldn't get a PH, and if he lost, he'd get a PH. And uh, he ended up coming in second, so he was pretty distraught when I gave him that PH. Uh, one of the funniest things I remember about this uh, senior class is, is my seventh period chemistry class. Uh, we had an interesting group of characters in, in that class, and, and as happens on occasion, things go wrong. Things get broken, things get lost, something crazy happens. And it didn't, didn't matter what it was, it was always Betty's fault. Every time. Whatever it was, it was Betty's fault. Betty did it. All on Betty. And I just thought that was hilarious. The thing I will remember most about this class is your honesty. Often it's about how much you don't want to do schoolwork. But it made me a better teacher because I had to be very creative in ways to get you engaged and trick you into doing your work. My favorite memory would have to be uh, giving James Beckman at least five times more IXL than anyone else. Uh, he never found out, but I knew he hated IXL, so it made me feel better. My favorite memory of this particular senior class was when they were freshmen, and I had a physical science class down in the basement, and there were like 25 girls and only three guys. It was horrendous, but it was fun. I don't know if they learned anything, but having all those girls in one spot at one time was tough. The memories we've made at Loyola will never be forgotten. This has been Rose Carmody. Appearances tend to change over the four years of being in high school. For our senior class, some have changed more than most. Let's take a look at some of the comparisons to freshman year. I truly wish that we could do it all over again. For the last time, this is Marguerite Papa signing off. We can't believe our time at Loyola is coming to an end. It's been a fun four years and we will miss every bit of it. Thank you Mr. Marshall and Coach Tanner for giving us the best media arts experience. We hope you have enjoyed watching our videos for the past two years. That's all for this week's rundown. See you later Flyers!
I'm gonna miss John Michael so much. He is one of my favorite people. He always makes me laugh in the mornings and it's gonna be really sad up there without him. Here's, thank you so much for helping us in the classroom, and being our big sisters and brothers, and helping us with anything we needed. I'm definitely gonna miss all the seniors. They're always a huge help. Whenever I had a question, they'd always be there to answer it. And I have really great memories with all of them. I'm definitely gonna miss all the seniors and I'm really gonna miss MP Sane because she's the first one that helped me figure out how to put the flower minutes together and I made a good friend out of her and I'm gonna miss her. I'm really gonna miss all of our Media Arts 2 seniors, especially Julia. She always helped me out whenever I needed help. I'm really gonna miss our Media Arts seniors. It's gonna be really weird without them for the next few weeks. I'm really going to miss all of our seniors, but especially Voorhees, because he always helped me anytime I had no idea what I was doing on Adobe. And these next weeks are going to be weird without him, but I wish them luck in their futures. I'm going to miss Wit and Wes sitting in the sports department, never doing work, but making me laugh. You know, I'm really going to miss everyone. I'm really sad they're leaving, but I think I'm going to miss Rose when she talks about water fountains a lot, and Betty because she shouts things out like randomly, and it's funny. Thank you to all the seniors for being so welcoming to us as Media Arts One students and just helping us out learning everything that there is to know about what to do and when to do it. Um, we definitely couldn't do it without y'all, so thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone in the Media Arts Two class for helping me and the rest of the Media Arts One students out. But uh, really special thanks to Wit and Marguerite for keeping me laughing and hanging out with me throughout the year. I'll probably miss Lauren the most because she feels the same way about people stealing cameras as I do. I can't really choose which senior I'm gonna miss the most because I'm gonna miss all of them and they really helped me, but probably miss Wit the least